Hello everyone, I'm Matt. I study maths at Durham, but I'm not in Durham. I'm in a shed because my first year ended early, just like everything else, which is really sad because I really liked Durham. This week I'm doing the last of my exams and then my first year is completely done, but your first year has not begun. So this video is about why you should be excited to start your first year of maths at Durham. When I arrived in Durham, me and my friends were so innocent, so unaware of what was in store of what maths is really like. I don't know if this is just maths, but what I mean is that at degree level, it's a bit different. It's so much more precise and everything you do is because you've proven you can do it. For example, in probability, you'll likely have used the central limit theorem, but in our probability module, even though we've done it at A level, it wasn't mentioned until right at the end and we'd worked right from the ground up and along the way we'd proven rigorously why the binomial can be approximated by the person under certain conditions. And what this means is that feeling of not being sure about something is gone because if you're uncertain why something's allowed or if it's allowed, you can just point to your notes and see what's allowed under uh, the rules that have been established earlier in the course. And I know that's a really boring example, but I want to say two things. First, stats at A-level is completely different to stats at uni. It's way more interesting and it actually feels like real maths. Your opinion of maths based on A-level is like saying all bikes are rubbish because this bike hasn't got handlebars or pedals. Second, there are so many better examples, but unfortunately, after doing a month of this course, everything you say to everyone else will just seem trivial and meaningless to them. You just have them. to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Hey, guess what? What? We just learned about integration in analysis. Idiot. Of course, my course this year was taught through lectures. There are about three per week per module and the biggest, Calculus and Linear Algebra, had nearly 500 people in them um, because physics students do this too. But we also have tutorials where there's about 10 people in groups of two or three around whiteboards and then there's a tutor that helps you out in case you need it, and you will. You get a tutorial every one to two weeks per module. In total, I had about 20 hours of contact time per week. I know you're probably thinking contact time doesn't sound very appropriate given the current situation, but don't panic, I've had a small taste of what remote learning is like since being back at home. Remote tutorials have been surprisingly good and the tutor can still effectively set problems and guide you through the solution. And at least you won't be late because you're coming from a lecture. Online lectures will probably be just like the real thing, if by the real thing you mean sat at home watching them on catch up, which was previously frowned upon, but is now okay apparently. Linear algebra, linear algebra, revision lecture, revision lecture. Uh, welcome to a linear algebra revision lecture. One last thing I want to say is that at Durham, especially compared to friends at other well-known collegiate universities, I have so much sports and going out and music and societies in my life, and it just shows that while working hard academically, there's still so much potential to have a laugh and develop non-academically, and for me, that's why my first year at Durham has been so fantastic and I'm looking forward to the rest of my time at Durham so much. So stay positive, um, stay safe, Keep your math skills sharp and hopefully we'll see you in October.